there's a new military in town and they've got a name. Are we a diversity? And who's diversity? What is diversity? Uh, win this war. Master Chief is ring. Halo. Sorry. And what are the chances of you guys winning this? If I'm Cortana. Okay, well look, you've got roughly two minutes. The Halo TV series has arrived, and in two minutes and four seconds, what did we learn? Uh, there is a suspicious amount of women in this trailer. In fact, there's so many women, it seems like 95% of all military deaths will be female. And hey, all I'm saying, lads, I think we've done enough wars. I'm more than willing for myself to let them take that amazing privilege off my shoulders. But for the rest of it, there is enough red flags and warning signs in this TV series, which definitely shows that this is a program which is going to make the message far more important than the entertainment. Now, there are some good points. I think the suits in this look incredible and the CGI overall, even when it's a CGI environment, uh, yes, you can tell it's CGI, but for a TV series, I think it's more than good enough. And honestly, I'm not that fussy about the quality of CGI in TV series as it is. But there are weird things like this fight scene. I don't know what's going on here. Well, all the CGI and stuff kind of looks decent enough to me. None of the characters feel like they've got weight, like they're connecting with anything. It's almost like they made three different characters, animated them, and then never actually had them connect together. It looks bizarre. And on top of that, every single character in this entire show just felt like a different checkbox. I've never seen a casting that was as obvious as this. And what we learned from casting choices like this in the past, when you're so proud of it, when you put it front and center in your trailer, is that it's going to affect your story because you think that that is more important than your story. And is the casting a problem on its own? No, of course it isn't. But it is a canary, and at some point, people are going to have to realize the canary's on the floor, 13 people are stabbing it through the heart, and it's probably already died. And the entire story has the characters already in place. Oh, look, we've got to protect this woman, and oh, look, this woman's going to be bossing him around, leading him around by the nose. The Master Chief won't be the one in charge here. He's not going to be in control of his own destiny. He will be led around by the nose, all so he can go and protect a woman, save a woman, save the most important woman in the universe. You can see it coming. And while, and while you can say no, there's no way you can tell this from this trailer, you have no idea, it'll be good, I'm sure it'll be good, and you could have an argument for that, and I could have it all wrong. But let's face it, we've seen this before, we've seen all of these signs before, and it's never led to a good thing at the end of it. And with television in the state that it is, I would rather, right now, be cynical at the start of a trailer and go, look, we've seen this all before, I'd rather not get my hopes up then suddenly imagine that, no, this is the one that's going to be different. This is the one that's going to save us all, because all evidence is the contrary. Not just in this, but just in the quality of programming at all. And somehow, I don't think this one is going to be the exception to the vast, vast amount of rules that we've already seen over the last few years. And I would love to be wrong. I would love nothing more than a great action TV series to look forward to in March. But honestly, if I had to guess, and with everything I've seen, I just don't think I am. So while there are definitely some cool moments in this trailer, from the guns to the spaceships and the explosions, that's all great. I do just wonder how long it's going to be before some five-foot woman starts beating up every man in the military. What about the little one? But if you want to take it and run with it, then I wish you all the best. You're far more optimistic than me, and that's honestly probably a good thing. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Like the video if you like the video, and press subscribe more videos in the future. But for now, that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Where are you going? Is that you done? No, I've got... I've got You're going back on? Do you want me to take that?